tools for organic and paid acquisition. I think I don't get a question more frequently asked than what is the right tool to get more customer into your user base? The first thing I think everybody needs is to have an extremely easy to use, fast and mobile friendly website builder. Um, if you look at our workshop landing page, uh, www.piratesgoods.com slash workshops, you can see that it's built with WordPress in this case. You can notice that by here, you can see the, the bar at the top <clears throat> that, that tells you. And I use a plugin uh, called Oxygen, which lets me really easily use that. But why do I think this is so important, uh, even though it's a very, very basic tool? Um, the, the problem is this. I ask people, yeah, can we please build a landing page for this and that? We have this idea for an audience. Uh, we have an idea for a lead magnet. And they tell me, yeah, I have to ask my development team and maybe they have time for this in three weeks. And two months later, we're still talking about if the development team still has time for that because they are busy, busy building features and fixing bugs in the main product. So what I want all of us to be able to do is to do it for ourselves. We can't wait for agencies to do, the, to do this. This is, of course, to get the first template, to get the first design. Um, please get help. It, it really took me a long time to understand that I needed help in the initial setup, yeah, especially for the design. But then using it, that needs to be absolutely your own thing. So do not, do not settle down until you have a website builder. It doesn't need to be WordPress. Yeah, it could be Wix, it could be Squarespace, it could be completely custom built. But the requirement I have for any website builder is that somebody who is not a programmer can open up an editor and do this. They can just tap on an item, yeah, like this here. You can see that I uh, they just mark this uh, call to action button and they can just simply change the text. They can change this image. They can change the text here above the call to action button. If that is not possible for a non-techie in your team, for example, somebody who's also doing uh, helping you out with social media, then your website builder is still too complicated. Don't settle down on this particular part. Your website is the door to your product and you are the marketer responsible for getting people through the door. Don't let anybody take this capability away from you. We at Pirate Skills, we have made a decision to now move again to WordPress plus Oxygen. So let me give you a few tools and alternatives. And again, if you want to download these, these slides, uh, we will share the link in the Discord and under the, the YouTube video and the Facebook channel. And you can, you can simply press on those links. Yeah, for example, let me show you. This is the link for Oxygen in case you're, you're asking like, what is this amazing, amazing ox Oxygen thing? And you can see that it's a website builder <clears throat> and it's built on top of WordPress and it just makes working with WordPress so much easier than stock WordPress. You can simply add items, buttons, change the text, just what I was saying. And if you have the slides downloaded, the PDF, then all of those links are easily clickable. There are two main website builders I would suggest. Elementor is the better one for ease of use. Um, it is a bit more user-friendly, it's a bit more drag and droppy. Oxygen have I chosen because of page speed and I like the pricing model. It's just a one-time payment and you don't have to worry about paying for it each year. And that's what I really like. And it's, it's, you notice that it's focused on people who care about performance marketing. And while it's not as easy to use as Elementor, it's like 20% worse. Yeah. Okay, but let's say WordPress is not possible in your circumstances, or you want something really dedicated just for landing page building, what is the right tool then? Then we have landing page building tools that also have stuff like A-B testing built right into it. 
My favorite one here by far is, is Instapage. Instapage also works really great if you are, if you are doing paid advertising. Their integration with Google and Facebook ads is simply amazing. The way they map each ad to a single landing page and how they cope with personalization and collaborating as a team on the same landing page. I don't think I have any see, I've seen anything um, in that uh, in that user experience area. It's it's pretty pricey, I would say. Um, there is the business which comes at one forty nine per year. Uh, no, monthly, yeah. But it's built annually. If you go to the monthly price, it's one ninety nine. So this is only valuable. This is only reasonable if you spend more like two thousand euro per month on ads then it's, it's absolutely a no-brainer because your landing pages only need to be 10% better than your normal ones um, to make that money back. And it is highly likely that they're going to be 20, 30, 40% better. Yeah, and you're gonna have more of them. This is the best landing page builder. The problem is a little bit, if you outgrow this and you need to switch to the enterprise, then it quickly becomes quite expensive, but maybe you're an enterprise and that's your thing. Um, another tool as, as an alternative is Unbounce. It's very powerful. It, uh, the, it has some of the strongest A-B testing capabilities. For example, if you want to measure effects on several steps in a funnel, like your lead, uh, your, your lead magnet, then they do something else, something else. You can easily do a multivariate testing in three and see step-by-step -step, uh, conversion rate optimizations there. If you want to keep it simple, as possible, go for just a WordPress website with Elementor or Oxygen, yeah? And then if you need dedicated tools, um, that's absolutely possible. So if you're wondering like WordPress, isn't it slow? My website that I just showed you, um, this one here is loading at 0 0.8 seconds. If you wanna try this, go to piratesgoods.com. Maybe, maybe can you do a live demonstration of how fast this is? Let me see. Open in WordPress, Zack, there it is. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just there. Yeah, and I have not visited this page before on, on my iPad, as you can see, because I'm asked for the cookie consent plugin, which is from WordPress, which is the Bollabs cookie plugin, my favorite cookie acceptance tool. Let's accept everything. This is super fast stuff. All right, let's go back to the presentation. So, as I said, no compromises on the website builder. It is absolutely key. The, the second part, once you have a website, is you need to get traffic to your website. And you, one of the sources of traffic is, of course, SEO yeah, and, and social media. And I, I still keep hearing a lots of, a lots of start, startups who are focusing on SEO without the proper understanding of how much commitment it takes today to rank good and that there are so many better opportunities out there. If you look at all of the big uh, Shopify stores, for example, right now in e-commerce scenarios, um, Google biggest Shopify stores and look what their business is built on. It is not SEO. It is built on influencer marketing. It is built on social media. Uh, it is built on, on other channels. That's why I always say, create awesome content for your audience, which is 80% for the user and 20% for Google. Yeah? And that way you still win out on Google because the biggest factor at the moment is definitely the content, the on-page quality. And if you're in a highly competitive market, Yes, you need to also do some link building. So I packed up some tools for this as well. If you want to keep an eye on your SEO um, development over time, the basic tool to use because it is the only source of truth is the Search Console. The Search Console is provided by Google. It shows you how often your website showed up in the search results. There is no source um, like that available anywhere else. And all of these other tools are always asking, can I please get access to the Search Console? So getting Search Console set up with your Google Analytics, that's always the basic thing to do if you want to see how much traffic you're getting from uh, Google from which keywords, yeah? And how are your rankings developing? 
But since it is just a very basic tool, they have developed many more advanced tools with that. Two of the biggest, I would say, all-in-one solutions are Moss and Zistrix. I would prefer Moss in an international settings and Zistrix in a German setting, even though Zistrix also supports many different other languages. Yeah, but it's I wouldn't consider Zistrix if I would start at a US startup and focus there on SEO. Um, then there is a great tool called Write. I had the luck to uh, drive in the same car from the airport in Slovenia to the conference where we both were speaking at a conference about growth marketing. And this guy had so many amazing ideas here. I'm talking about the founder of Write. Uh, so many amazing ideas and a new perspectives and view on SEO. And they built a tool. It was used to be called onpage.org. Maybe you're familiar with that. Now it's called Write. And it's the best one for me for on-page optimization. What does it mean? It scans your website. You enter piratesguilds.com in my case, and it, it literally gives you a checklist of what to fix, yeah, to have better rankings. I think their slogan is, it was great. It's like, your website, just better. Uh, and the last one I would like to mention is SEMrush. It's a bit more of a search engine marketing tool, SEM, but I really love using it for SEO as well because I can do some competitive research on the free version and I can see what keywords are my competitors ranking for, which always gives me great inspiration for, for keywords. So these are five tools I wanted to share with you if you want to keep an eye on your SEO development. Then let's say you have got your website cover and you did your 20% SEO magic that is, that is working for you. 